Hello, I'm Mike Gill, Whiskey Ace. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, uh, we're getting near to Christmas, and if you look at my past Christmas videos, it's usually with some really nice uh, food pairings for Christmas with various single malt whiskeys, bourbons, etc. But today, I thought, you know, this year, anybody that looks at this video and actually goes out and buys a single malt whiskey, I want them to get the best possible value for their money. And there is no single malt, in my opinion, right now, that's a better value than Beaumont 12. Or as the Scots like to say, Beaumont. Beaumont is the oldest distillery on Isla, 1779. It has the oldest uh, maturation warehouse still being used uh, on the planet. Pretty much also around 1779. <laughs> First of all, we've got to say straight away, uh, there's going to be some of that peat in there, and peat kind of scares people a little bit. We'll talk a bit about peat in, in a second, but I assure you that uh, if you haven't had a peaty whiskey yet, this is also uh, a great whiskey to start with. So, why is it so good for the price? Um, that's really because Beaumont has always tried to be very fair with their 12 year old single malt. Um, they have 15, 18, 25 and lots of other wonderful expressions that can be a tad expensive. Uh, maybe that's, you know, they're making up for it. But at least with the one that you want, that you're going to buy on a regular basis, they've keep, kept the cost down. So what is really so good about this whiskey and and Beaumont as a distillery? Uh, first of all, we have to look at the time-honored way of making a single malt whiskey, and that still today, some of the time, uh, Beaumont does do that. And what I'm talking about is the malting floor, the actual working malting floor, which it did at one time... Uh, it was used by most distilleries and you know there were six or seven or twelve strapping men every day turning malt over uh, honestly nobody does that anymore it's just not cost effective but there are uh, six or seven distilleries still left uh, using a malting floor on anywhere from 20 to 50 percent of the total production um, on Isla there is uh, Beaumont and Laproix Island Park is another one that comes into mind, and um, what what they the only reason actually that it's so exciting for for people like me to go and look is because they still use the peat fire. If um, if they're not using a malting floor, which you know ninety five percent are not, then um, they're getting their malt from a malting company. Uh, there's about three very large ones in Scotland. And they actually uh, will peat the, the malty barley for them exactly to their specifications. I know it doesn't sound sexy, but honestly, uh, if you see how uh, hard it is to do, uh, to turn over the malt for days on end, uh, it, it's pretty difficult. But what we need to do is we need to know really what peat is and, and not sort of always think of it as, as just smoke because uh, when you taste uh, and get sweetness on the back, and I'm pretty sure you wouldn't do that if you were to inhale some smoke and taste it. Um, and that's that's where it gets tricky. So let's just say for now, Beaumont does do this, and basically they will turn over the malt um, so it gets to about 40% moisture. Uh, it then goes up to the uh, to the oven. The the fire is is lit with peat, and the smoke is going up to the oven. To take that 40% moisture out, the peat itself, uh, the smoke that's rising up there, is full of phenols. Little, little guy, phenol, <laughs> which is a, an element from the smoke. Uh, thousands of them will, will go up in the smoke, find a barley husk, cling onto the barley husk, and through all the distillation and the 12 years in a cask and then in a bottle, we will still taste it. And peat is very, very different, and it's very different from other places around Scotland. Um, Isla's a, a much different peat to, say, Orkney Islands and Island Park, or, uh, or the Highlands, Speyside. Very different. So, I think it's probably time that we taste this. So, 
if you're looking to try a PT malt, this is 25 phenols per million. If you uh, if you've heard about Lafroy uh, and Ardbeg, then you're talking anywhere from 40 to 50. So this is you know sort of half of Ardbeg, and uh, it's got a lot of other elements as well. So it's just not going to be that big peaty smoky whiskey that you may or may not like. So I'm just going to use a pipette here to put the tiniest bit of water in. Always have water. Don't listen to people that say you're a wimp. Uh, that's just diluting whiskey. No, it's not. It's opening up the whiskey. There's proteins in there that are really tight. They can't get out. Just much like uh, like decanting a fine wine. You have to put a little bit of water in, and it's not diluting it uh, too much. And it is, but just a little, little, little tiny bit. So we're nosing, you know, four inches away. Not like a wine person that goes in there. And what you get first, you're going to get the ocean spray, the, uh, the the sea salt, and the smoke. Um, it's on the ocean. It's on, Atlant on the Atlantic Ocean, uh, but where it's being maturated. Uh, there's ocean waves crashing against it all the time. So it's going to get that maritime nose. And then there's a little bit of honey and citrus coming through. Now, on the palate... I was taught to chew a whiskey a long, long time ago, but whatever you, you fancy doing, chewing gets it everywhere, front, middle, and back. And what I get there, then I now get a lot more of the, of the citrus and the honey. Uh, and then right at the back, I get that this sweetness. It's it's I'm trying to think. It's not bonfire treacle. It's a, it, but it's it's smoke, but it has that sweetness at the back. Um, what what you can uh, do with Beaumont over Christmas? Well, I think a lot of you know that I'm a nut on cheese and uh, applewood smoked cheddar and Beaumont Twelve are just magical together. Uh, but now, when you're out at a restaurant, um, it's very popular in Japan. But uh, but they're right, Beaumont Twelve and oysters with lemon juice is just absolute dynamite. So go out and buy a Beaumont Twelve. Uh, not expensive. You're going to get great value for money. And have a great Christmas. Thanks all. Bye.